Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. B and B early week spoilers. Deacon's mission, therapist Carter, Steffi's meltdown. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of April 15 to 19, 2024 reveal that Deacon Sharp, seen Kanan, embarks on a mission to find out the truth about Sheila Carter's Kimberlyn Brown death. Plus Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor, Councils Zend Forrester Dominguez, Dellen Demetz. Also, Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline Massinswood, has a total meltdown. B and B spoilers for the week of April 15 reveal that Deacon won't be able to get Shella's toes out of his mind. Deacon doesn't know if he has lost his mind or not, but he is going to find out one way or another. Deacon already told John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlan, about his theory regarding Sheila. However, Finn didn't believe Deacon and suggested he was going mad from grief. So, when next week rolls around, expect Deacon to start his own investigation. During the week of April 15, fans can expect Steffi to have a very strong reaction to some news. This news will come from Finn, who will mention Deacon's Sheila theory to Steffi. Of course, Steffi will completely flip out. While Steffi is acting strong and like she is in charge, it really seems more fear-based. So when Steffi learns that there is a tiny possibility that Sheila is alive, she will go into full panic mode. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of April 15 reveal that Carter will play Love Doctor. Once again, Zendu will pour a little bit of his heart out while Carter patiently listens. Carter might tell Zendu he can always hope for a chance with Luna Nozoa, Lisa Yamada, but he might be waiting forever. Carter might also offer Zend some assurance, especially after he tells him about Hope Logan's, Annika Noel, request for him to work more closely with Luna. While Luna says she is going to confess, she has said that before. Fans may also see what happens if Luna does tell RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, the truth about what happened with Zend. How will the rest of the Forrester family react when they learn about Luna's accidental mint manic betrayal? Everyone thinks Luna is so amazing right now. Luna might be surprised by how quickly the Forrester family turns on her, even though this was a horrible mistake. Which storyline are you looking forward to seeing the most during the week of April 15, 2024? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to keep watching The Soap on CBS or Paramount Plus to find out what happens next. Be sure to catch up on everything happening with B and B right now. Come back often for the bold and the beautiful spoilers, news, and updates. In the hushed corridors of destiny, where secrets linger like ghosts in the shadows, the stage is set for a whirlwind of emotions and revelations. The air crackles with anticipation as the dawn of a new week dawns upon the picturesque canvas of Los Angeles. In the heart of the city, the Forester Mansion stands as a beacon of elegance and intrigue its walls echoing with the whispers of forbidden desires and untold truths. At the center of it all stands Deacon Sharp, a man with a mission shrouded in mystery. With his piercing gaze and enigmatic smile, he prowls the streets of Los Angeles like a lone wolf on a quest for redemption. But behind the facade of charm lies a man haunted by his past, a past intertwined with the lives of those he once loved and lost. Now, as he sets his sights on a new target, the stakes have never been higher. Meanwhile, in the halls of Forrester Creations, therapist Carter Walton finds himself drawn into a web of intrigue that threatens to unravel the very fabric of his existence. As he delves deeper into the minds of his clients, he discovers dark secrets lurking beneath the surface, secrets that could shatter the fragile balance of his own life. But Carter is no stranger to adversity, and with his unwavering resolve, he is determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. But it is Steffi Forrester who finds herself teetering on the edge of despair, her world crumbling around her like a house of cards. With each passing day, the weight of her burdens grows heavier, threatening to crush her beneath their crushing weight. And as she struggles to hold onto the fragments of her shattered existence, she finds solace in the arms of those who love her most. But even amidst the chaos, there are glimmers of hope, like stars shining in the darkest of nights. For in the heart of adversity, true strength is born, and from the ashes of despair, new beginnings emerge. 
and as the early week spoilers unfold, the residents of Los Angeles will come face to face with their deepest fears and their greatest desires, for in the game of love and betrayal, only the strongest will survive. As the sun sets on another day in the City of Angels, the stage is set for a showdown of epic proportions. And as the lines between friend and foe blur into oblivion, only one thing is certain. In the world of the bold and the beautiful, anything is possible. So hold onto your seats, dear viewers, for the journey has only just begun, and the best is yet to come. B and B Recap Deacon finds threatening messages to Shayla from Sugar, Steffi freaks out, and Luna begins to come clean to RJ. Friday, April 12, 2024. Today on Bold and the Beautiful, Ridge continues to kick Deacon as he's down, Finn tosses his wife a curveball about Sheila, and Zend continues to confide in Carter. Thursday's early B and B recap. Deacon starts drinking while Finn drops a bombshell on Steffi. At Forrester, Steffi tells Finn, it makes no sense that Sheila might be alive. And Deacon believes this. Some of Sheila's craziness must have rubbed off on him. Finn thinks he's just processing grief. She agrees he's not thinking straight. What a weird thing to say. Deacon saw her body. Her toes. Steffi repeats, her, toes. What? Finn tells her Deacon went to the crematorium to be with her at the end and saw that she had ten toes, not nine. Steffi tries to wrap her brain around it but appears shocked by the news. She still thinks he's wrong. Finn must agree. Finn can only tell her what Deacon told him. At Il Giardino, Ridge tells Deacon he's losing it. Deacon tries to convince him otherwise. Ridge says he saw the cremation so what is this nonsense about Shayla still being alive? Instead of listening for an answer, Ridge assumes he wants to keep her memory alive. Steffi and Finn don't need Deacon talking about his theory. Ridge likes Deacon and thinks his apartment can have a little corner with a candle, incense, and on her birthday every year, you can sacrifice a frog or a garden snake or something and then do that. For everyone else, she's gone. He leaves and Deacon thinks he may be wrong. He flashes back to seeing Sheila after she passed on, and then her ten toes. Ten toes, he says as if it's a mantra. What if she's alive and needs him? He goes to his apartment and reads her emails, trying to find something to tell him she's alive. There's nothing there so he looks through her texts. There's one from unknown. He reads, How did you get this number? It doesn't matter. We need to talk. Nothing more to say to you. Ever. I'm going to find you. Stay away from me, sugar. Deacon's puzzled. In the design office of Forrester, Carter feels bad for not catching on to Zende having some issues. He urges him to open up. Zende talks up how beautiful and smart RJ is and Carter reminds him that RJ is with Luna. RJ's his cousin and he can't act on his feelings. Zende looks guilty and admits something happened but it wasn't her fault. He tells Carter it happened the night of his granddad's wedding. Carter asks if Luna cheated with him. Zend says not exactly. He shares what went down with Luna feeling woozy and finding herself in his room. Carter slowly digests this and tries to get to the point. Zend paces and stares, shaking his head. In the heart of Los Angeles, where secrets dance in the shadows and alliances shift like sand, the bold and beautiful world spins its intricate web of love, betrayal, and redemption. Today the sun rises over the Forester Mansion, casting its golden glow over a city teeming with drama. Deacon Sharp, the notorious bad boy turned good, finds himself in a precarious situation. As he sifts through the morning mail at Sheila Carter's cozy bed and breakfast, his eyes widen in shock at the sight of a series of threatening messages addressed to Sheila. The words are harsh, the tone menacing, and the sender's identity remains shrouded in mystery. Could it be a scorned lover, a vengeful enemy, or someone from Sheila's dark past resurfacing to haunt her once again? Meanwhile, across town, Steffi Forrester paces the luxurious halls of the Forrester Creations headquarters, her mind racing with worry. She clutches her phone tightly, the screen illuminating with missed calls and frantic messages from her husband, Finn, who is away on a medical conference. Steffi's heart pounds in her chest as she recalls the cryptic voicemail she received from a mysterious caller, hinting at danger lurking in the shadows. Is her family in jeopardy? Is there a threat looming over her loved ones, waiting to strike when least expected? Back at the B&B, &B, Luna Moody, 
the enigmatic and reclusive owner, grapples with her own demons. For years she has guarded a secret buried deep within her soul, a secret that threatens to unravel the fragile peace she has built with her son, RJ. As she watches Deacon pore over the threatening messages meant for Sheila, Luna's resolve begins to crumble. She knows that the time has come to confront her past, to face the ghosts that have haunted her for far too long. With a heavy heart, Luna takes RJ aside, her eyes brimming with tears as she prepares to reveal the truth that has been hidden from him for so many years. She tells him of a love lost, a betrayal suffered, and a sacrifice made in the name of protecting those she holds dear. RJ listens intently, his heart breaking with each word, but he knows that his mother's love is unwavering, and he vows to stand by her side, no matter what storms may come. As the day wears on, tensions rise and emotions run high in the bustling metropolis of Los Angeles. Deacon races against time to unravel the mystery behind the threatening messages to Sheila, while Steffi grapples with her own fears and insecurities. And in a quiet corner of the world, Luna and RJ confront the ghosts of their past, forging a bond that is stronger than any secret or lie. But amidst the chaos and turmoil, love still blooms like a delicate flower, refusing to be snuffed out by the darkness that lurks in the shadows. For in the world of the bold and beautiful, where betrayal and redemption go hand in hand, there is always hope for a brighter tomorrow, where hearts can mend and souls can find solace in the arms of those who truly care. And as the sun sets over the city of angels, casting its warm embrace over the land, the residents of Los Angeles prepare to face whatever challenges may come their way, knowing that together they are stronger than any storm.